I had sex with a dolphin. Yes, exactly what you think. I am Margaret Howlovett, I am 23 years old, and I had sex with Peter, a dolphin with whom I had a relationship. It all happened on the island of St. Thomas, USA. NASA had the idea of doing a strange experiment in which they wanted to create a communication between humans and dolphins. The researchers in charge of this study were the astronomers John, Lily, Sandra and myself, who joined the team some time later. The inexplicable thing is that I simply entered the research out of pure curiosity where I met Peter, the dolphin, that we were studying in the laboratory located in the Virgin Islands. As soon as I started with the tests to teach him to make sounds very similar to those of humans, I became so interested that I went so far as to live in the lab to spend more time with Peter, the dolphin. As a result of this, we began to establish a relationship since I decided to use as a method of approach what a mother or teacher uses to teach a child to communicate. To achieve this I had to spend 24 hours a day with Peter as an immersion. Peter began to make sounds very quickly and very similar to how people talk to each other. We spent so much time together that Peter loved me much more than the other investigators to the point of becoming very attached to me making movements against my body as a sign of sexual desire. When this happened what I did was to start having intimate relations with the dolphin, instead of taking him to where the females of his species were, I constantly took him to the pools without surveillance cameras where we performed acts that should not be done. One day I made the mistake of not moving him and the other researchers realized what was happening. The whole situation got out of control and there was a lot of controversy in the team. They wanted to remove me from the project, but they realized that the experiments could only continue if I was there, since Peter had stopped reacting to those of other researchers. After much fuss the project finally ran out of funds and we had to close the facility. The dolphins were taken to another laboratory where they would be taken care of. However, a week later Peter deteriorated rapidly and died because of his sadness, this happened because he was separated from me in a forced and drastic way, without the animal being able to understand. In the end, I was not denounced, but I was fired from NASA. Tell me in the comments what you think about my case and if you have ever had unimaginable fantasies. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Human Stories for daily stories.